Hi there guys, my name is Don McStraw and I'm a conditioning performance coach here at the McStraw Method. As part of our program, um, we talk before and everything about our three pillars and that being the metabolized pillar, the mentalized or getting a head straight and the mobilized being that physical act of doing the training. Well, those three pillars in our program get broken down into four phases. The program itself is built around a year long commitment but we can break that down however way um, the candidate or the prospect actually likes. So typically we will see someone start with us and they might go through an initial period of time where they're just getting back into the swing of things. And here's one of the fundamental reasons why we do that. You see, there are a lot of gyms out there that sell you the seven day this, the 14 day shred, the 28 day challenge, the bikini body this, the summer shred. And whilst that works for some people for a short period of time, they don't spend enough time with you teaching you the fundamentals, the foundation that you need in order to sustain those results. See, I've done the same thing too. So I've joined the gym, I've seen the 28 day challenge, it's coming up for summer, oh, yeah, yeah, man. I'm not after my bikini bod, that's just Mardi Gras. But what happens is this, and I've seen it also being a coach in the gym. Someone comes in, they see a special offer. It might be the 28 bucks for 28 days. Whatever, doesn't make a difference. They come in, previous to day number one, they very rarely did anything. They very rarely worked out. They very rarely got their daily steps or what we call their non-exercise activity. They very rarely did anything. And then suddenly, they get in in week, week one and they work out. I work out every day for the first seven days. And for some, it's a complete bashing on the body. And then there's injuries, there's struggling, there's recovery. But for others, they'll burn through that. I've only got 28 days, I've only got 28 days. And they do that. And then at the end of the 28 days, yes, they've lost weight. They may have lost some body fat. They may feel better about themselves. But then what happens? What happens? Majority of people are eight out of 10 based upon our own experience. They don't continue it because they've not learned the fundamentals to what is a good program. You see, in our program, we want you to learn. We will be here to show you. We're not going to tell you what you need to do. We will help you with a path, but you have to do the work. We can't do the sit-ups for you. We can't do the pull-ups, the push-ups, the running, the assault bike. We can't do that for you. You see, we can give you the environment. We can give you the stimulation. We can give you the workout. We can talk to you about what's right to eat and what's not to eat based upon you and our experience with you. But you still have to do the work. So our program breaks it down into four pillars. The first one is what we call the base. So everyone has to start somewhere. So our base is a series of workouts primarily. There's a little bit of stuff about food and we call it food rather than nutrition because at the end of the day, we all know it's food. There's a little bit of that. There's also a fair bit of time spent with you on the mental side of it. Getting yourself into a position where you are ready. Okay, so what's what we call the base area. We then take that into what we call phase two, and phase two is reform. So if you've not been at the gym for a while, and the last time you were at the gym, they didn't have kettlebells, or you'd never swung anything bigger than a two kilo, then we want to undo any bad patterns of behavior, and we want to teach you how to do this properly. So the reformation or the reform program is about teaching you the fundamental patterns that we're gonna use in the next phase of our program so when you're ready for it, you understand. So you'll know how to swing a kettlebell properly. If you've got back injuries, if you've got limitations, then we will tailor that, what we call regress that for you. Base goes into reform. Phase three, we will affectionately call it the transformation program. That word gets used a lot, but in theory, that's basically what it is. 
the practicalities of that and how well you change are all to do with you. We can push you, we can provide you with the right stimulation, but you still have to do the work. If you don't do the work, the results will not come. It's like me saying, I've got a recipe. <laughs> if I just bang all this stuff in, it ain't gonna happen. I ain't gonna make the cake. It's gonna become slop. I might as well feed it to the pigs. So transformation is about that. It's taking you from doing a couple of workouts, one, two every now and then, to setting you up for doing three days a week. We will progress you to four days a week. And at some point, if you're interested, it's five. After transform, we bring you into the performance area. So in our last video, we talked about where we draw from. We draw from those sports, those activities that have people who train for performance. It's not necessarily aesthetics. Aesthetics, the look, the tight butt, the toned arms, the tight tummy, that will all come. But they are byproducts of your body being able to perform at the best that it can be for you. So a lean, shredded athlete who has been a swimmer all their life, who has been a rower all their life, their ability to hone into the program will be different from the person who is, and don't take offense, who is coming off the couch. Performance program is all about that. We step up transform program and we step it up into providing you with a workout for every day of the week. Yep, seven days. But get this, it's seven days and it's only 30 minutes a day. It's not four times at an hour and a half in the week where suddenly you're not getting it done. It's a half an hour. It's 2% of your day every day. And you have that time. Swiping left and right, scrolling up and down your phone, the amount of time that you do that probably exceeds more than 30 minutes in a day. Every workout will have an option for you to regress to make it easier. If you can't make it into your gym, there will be some pared back version of it. The movements will all be built around, you can modify. So I give you an example. If it's a dumbbell snatch, if we've got the dumbbell on the floor and we're gonna drive it up above our head, so ground to overhead or to a snatch position, then we can do that. We don't have to have the weight in our hand. We can still touch and jump. We can still move our body through the plane of motion. The weight, that's the added incentive. That will build strength. But you might wanna work on cardio. You might wanna work on conditioning. You might wanna work on better breathing and stamina and endurance. Then if that's the case then, the body weight version may well work for you. So there we have it. We talked about the three pillars, mentalize metabolize, mobilize, and we've now talked about the four phases of the program. The base, the reform, the transform, and the perform. Now if that stuff sounds like it may well be for you, all I want you to do is somewhere on this video, somewhere on this post, there'll be a link, and that link will send you to one of our pages, we'll give you the opportunity to find that a little bit more. In our next video, we're gonna break down a little bit more detail into what the mentalized and metabolized sections are about. I'm Don McStraw, this is the McStraw Method, and we have a little program that we call the Daily 2%.